All right, let's see and uh, look what we have here. What is that? Tell me. What do you see here? It's a fruit salad. It's a salad. Well, tell me more. It's a fruit salad with all kinds of different fruits. What do you see? Tell me. I see strawberries. I a see of a salad. kiwi. Cacatapulids. Should be way quicker. Grapes. All right. Gr grapes. And, uh, yeah, melon. Melon, right, maybe yeah. cut, cut melon. All right, anything else we can see here? Pretty much that's it, I think. All right. Um, so all of them are cut and or sliced. We used cut. All right, or you know, diced, sliced, cut, and ready to be eaten. All right. So again, where are they? Where are they located? They put them where? Yeah. In the bowl. Exactly. All these fruits are. You know, I sometimes, all right, uh, what we can say when it comes to me, let's use that. When it comes to me. All right, so I sometimes make it for. For dessert. For dessert, yeah. Dessert. When it comes to your favorite dessert, what is it? It is. Okay, but waffle. Waffles, you mean that? Waffles. All right, you eat waffles. Uh, well, how? Tell me with tea, with what? With milk. Not bad. So, what Not kind of milk with... do you like? Chocolate milk? No, usual milk, uh, and so with uh, condensed milk. Mhm. Mm Not bad. All right. So I like. I actually heard some noise there. All right, that's the homework. Let's do it then. Regular milk sounds good. All right, let's move on to this now. All right, uh, any questions about the homework, by the way? Um, no questions. Um, how long did it take you for you to finish this? It took me about um, 20 or 30 minutes. Yeah, all right. So, man, look at the quality. It's all blurry. Um, next time, just make sure it's um, focused. All right. Uh, okay. uh, yeah. If he had uh, on his or own plane, he would travel. All right. Uh, if he was a famous actor, he yeah okay yeah. That's uh, something that we did before. If Tess played the guitar, all right, she'd be in a band. Yeah, she'd join a band. Totally. All right. Um, everything seems to be okay here. So well done. All right, volleyball. It's one word. Do it like that. Um. I choose, um, that's the singer, I assume, yeah? This one? What is that? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so if I could live in a different country, I'd live in Italy. Why Italy then? Tell me. Why would you choose Italy? Because I have a relative there. there. Mm hmm because I have relatives there. All right, and I can have a really good time. I like the language. I like the culture. You should always try and give me more answers, you know, don't just... Um, tell me like one thing. It's not enough. All right. Uh, let's see now. This unit technically we did a while ago, so it's kind of like we're catching up in our workbook. And uh, yeah, let's just see what we have here. All right. So, how do you play rugby? Tell me what kind of sport this is. What do you need for rugby? Yeah, you need a uh, ball and protection. Absolutely. And all right. Have you ever played it? No, I've never played it. All right, absolutely. But, but I saw uh, how other people play. Oh, that's pretty cool. Do you think it's popular here? Playing rugby, what do you think? In Russia? Yeah. Mm, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. What sport do you think it's popular? Is popular here. Uh, football is popular here. Absolutely. This is also football. We call it American football. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, have you ever seen people play it? Uh, no. In, in Russia, no. I have. Mm -hmm. I've seen uh, people play it uh, on TV. Absolutely. Have you actually watched it? Do you enjoy watching them play? 
Mm, no. I, right. That's I don't like this, of course. I got you. Because if we're trying to go like B1, B1 plus, of course, then you should give me more. You can't just, do you like it? No. Come on, man. That's that's not cool. You know, I've given you so many chances of using all kinds of introductory phrases, linking words. So you should always try to expand, right? Like if somebody had asked me this, I would say, uh, I don't know, something like, uh, it's not my type of sport. I watched it before, but I don't really like it. One thing I truly don't like about it is the actual damage that people sustain or get from hitting each other. I mean, this is not healthy. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. All right, some people might like it, but to me, I don't really like it. I'm not into that. When it comes to me and my sports, I choose something that's safer. That's all. So you see, say something else. Don't just say yes or no. Again, check this out. What's the what is this? We have two balls here. What is the difference? Tell me. Uh, they are different shapes. And, and that's so right. one ball is from rugby and other is mm, I don't know what is national it national football league, yeah. American football. football league. Yeah. League. League. Yeah. Like National Football League. Right. NFL. Oh. We just looked at these pictures. These guys. This. On the right. All right. So again, uh, be a little quicker. Explain faster. Kind of like that. All right. Uh, which ball is bigger? Um, a rugby ball is bigger. Absolutely. All right. Um, so technically, yeah, uh, we know what it means and uh, you need to eat a lot. And fruits and veggies are also one of good nutritious uh, meal that people can technically include in their diet. Now, when it comes to fruit salads, how often do you eat them? Um, I eat them not often. Uh, once uh, a week. Once a week, maybe. OK. Now, when it comes to think, think about it, why are they in these plastic cups? Why would somebody put them in a plastic cup container? What do you think? Um, I don't know. You don't know. OK, Maybe they sell them like because, that. Yeah, because they sell, yeah. yeah. They sell, they sell them, them like there. that. Why do they sell them? Tell me. No. Uh, do people eat them? Uh, to people to, so that people could eat them. Why do they sell them? Well, OK, why do they sell? Fruits in. plastic cups, let's say, or containers. So why do they do it? Well, think about it. It's very convenient when you're on the go. Yeah. It's yeah. Very con convenient. Okay. You buy it, eat it, and kibbutz uh, uh, Now that I think about it, throw. Throw out. Throw it out, yes. On the go, all right, so you just simply buy it, eat it, and throw it out. All right, so uh, it's uh, a really good way uh, or it's a really good convenient way to uh, do this when you're somewhere. In other words, when you're on the go. What does that mean to be on the go? To walk. On the go, well, it doesn't literally mean walking, maybe on the go, exactly walking, but also like when you're busy, when you're doing something, when you need to go from one place to another place. So it means, in other words, the aspect of being busy. It's not just like, you know, going to the park, I'm on the go. No, in the park, I'm relaxing, walking, you know, having myself a good time. But here it means like I'm busy. So being on the go, it means to what? To go somewhere. Be busy, all right, going somewhere. Let's add that. All right, absolutely. So uh, what do you think is more expensive? When you go home, buy fruits, and you make it something like this, like a fruit salad at home, or when you're out in the city, and you buy this one on the left, plastic cups with fruits in them. What's more expensive? Nah, 
I think uh, doing it at home is more expensive. Oh, uh, you don't do it? This is cooking, so you what? Uh, cooking, I think. Uh, uh, no, I think buying it is more expensive because there is so little. Okay, but not Tenko. Overprice? Because there, there are little overprice. Uh huh. Which, uh, when you buy it. Ready. Absolutely. All right, so which are ready to eat? So, uh, buying fruits which are ready to eat will cost more and they will be overpriced. Absolutely. All right. Okay, that is unquestionably true. To overprice something, again, to overprice, there's a price, you price something, and then you kind of overprice, you add more. That's all it means. All right, now, and uh, if it's, if these fruits are overpriced, then why do people still buy them? Tell me. Um, because, uh... It's convenient to buy it on the go. Absolutely. As we mentioned before, right? As we mentioned before, it's convenient. It's more convenient to buy it. To buy them or to eat them on the go, yeah? It, yeah. Totally. All right, so uh, when it comes to you in eating something on the go, what exactly do you buy? What do you get? Maybe you pack lunch, maybe you have snacks. Tell me. Um, no, uh, we do. We don't do anything like this. Mm -hmm. We don't do anything like this. It sounds a little strange. Let's just tell me what exactly you don't do. When it comes to me, I what? Give me specific what you don't do, something specifically. When it comes to me, uh, we don't. I don't pack lunch or take food with me on the walk or on the go. On the go. All right. Listen. On the go. It means to be busy. We said that. All right. To be on the go when you are busy going somewhere. So, uh, in other words, when I go to school, when I go for a walk, yeah. So when it comes to me, I don't pack anything with me we said why when i go for a walk or when i go to school that's a good answer but that's not enough what can make it a little better tell me uh i don't pack uh any food with me anything with me because um because I usually don't uh, don't go uh, far in far and for a long and for a long time yeah for a long time exactly all right so uh, what did we add we added the reason we said why all right so uh, saying what you do or you don't do it's good but it's only the beginning it's not enough all right so adding something else of course, um, it's really important. All right, so when it comes to me, don't forget about this, the very introduction, linking words or be it introductory phrases. All right, so uh, I don't pack anything with me when I don't pack anything with me. We got another one, all right? Now, when you do not pack anything with you? Well, when I go for a walk or when I go to school, so we can use that one, all right? And then we're telling the reason why. All right, because I usually don't go far and I don't go anywhere for a long time. That's all. That's all we did. All right, always try to do these segments. All right, don't just give me yes, no, or do you like ice cream? Yes, I like ice cream. Tell me more. Like, this is an extremely, extremely easy question. Do you like ice cream? Come on, let's answer it really well. Squeeze that aisle. Come on. Like ice cream? Yeah. I like ice cream and I usually eat it in the summer because it's hot. Uh, mm -hmm. I usually eat it 
summer uh, while walking. Uh... I usually don't don't go crazy with usually. I often. I often. Eat it while walking. Yeah. Yeah. While walking or by or riding bike. You're not saying anything. I assume you're done. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. I prefer uh, vanilla. Vanilla ice cream. The most. All right. Where? Whereas. My sister likes chocolate. I personally like, but I personally like chocolate, but my favorite flavor, flavor is, is vanilla. Is vanilla. All right, so I think that all kids and um, I don't know, maybe most adults like ice cream, especially. When it comes to summer months, as, as I've mentioned before, it gets hot in the summer and one needs to cool off by eating something cold. All right, check it out. Honestly, whatever I said here, it's, it's kind of a like very simple thing. All right, so nothing extraordinary. But it's all about grammar. It's all about what we've learned. All right, so you're expanding your answer. Now, this question is ridiculously easy. And the answer could have been just this. All right, we talked about this. And this technically can be your answer. Is this enough? Is this correct? Well, yes, correct. Is that enough? No. All right, it, it's enough for a level maybe A2. All right, so in other words, A2 checks for no mistakes. All right, maybe somebody can say, do you like ice cream? Yes, I well, technically, this is a, a noun, so you can't really make a mistake. But what if it was, let's say, playing? Do you like playing football? Someone might make a mistake by saying, yes, I like playing football or something like that. Now, that's a mistake. So if somebody just answers the question without making a mistake, this initial, the beginning, I mean, the initial part, then technically, good job. Good job for an A2 level. But then eventually, it's kind of like, you know, um, like layers, you know what I mean? So you get one answer, one sentence, one phrase on top of the next one. And that's really what it's all about, you know, saying more of it. So try to always do the same thing at home. Try to do the same. Now, you did homework, wonderful thing. But let's face it, it's pretty easy, especially when you need to like, you know, write something in like, come on, this is difficult. It's a reading part or listening part. I get it. It's fun. It's important, too. But you're not really doing a lot of writing and thinking, you know, because you did a good job. I don't see any kind of mistakes or anything. All right. We're definitely go, going to go back to your homework, but most likely everything is correct. All right. Any questions about this? No questions. All right. Um, I don't know. Let's read that uh, again. I'm not going to go crazy with color. You know how it looks like. Every time you add a sentence, you can add a color. All right. Let's do it. Do you like ice cream? Uh, yes, I like ice cream and I usually eat it in the summer because it's hot in the summer. I often eat it while walking or riding my bike. I prefer vanilla ice cream the most, whereas my sister likes likes chocolate. I personally like chocolate, but my favorite flavor is vanilla. I think that all kids and most adults like ice cream, especially when it comes to summer month, because I've mentioned before it gets hot in the summer and one needs to cool off by eating something cold cold absolutely all right check it out so the words which are highlighted they're pretty essential they're important you can't really be without them here all right whereas speed water whereas ну, на, напротив, или что идет, речь, если касается моей сестры, например, whereas, или тогда как, или напротив, конечно же, абсолютно верно. Right? Я к тому, что sometimes it can be different translation depending on the context, that's all. Especially, перевод. 
Especially, особенно. Yes, especially. All right, listen, we don't want to be repetitive. We don't want to say the same thing again and again and again. We don't want that. That's why we're kind of like giving this, you know, little footnote, a little warning, a little like, hello, I talked about it, I know. So why don't we put it in writing or in other words, verbally we can say it. As I've mentioned before, and we kind of repeat it. Now, we did not exactly, you know, repeat this the way it was because we said it is hot in the summer. But we just added some something different, a little bit, of course, different, but still different. It gets hot in the summer, all right? And one, why did I use one? And one needs to cool off by eating something cold, eating or drinking something cold. What does this mean, one? What does this mean? Um, it means a person. A person, anybody. He, she, the kid maybe somewhere in the park eating ice cream or Again, anyone, all right, totally. So again, try to always do this, all right? I didn't say anything unusual. I didn't say anything that was kind of complicated, difficult. There isn't a single complicated word here. There is absolutely no sophistication when it comes to uh, perhaps something difficult, like difficult vocabulary, sophisticated vocabulary, basic thing, all right? Th these things are ridiculously easy. All right, anyway, um, any questions about this? No questions. All right, cool. Uh, mural, what is this? A mural. Mural is a painting on the wall or somewhere. Yeah. What do you like more, graffiti or murals? What looks better? Tell me. Uh, graffiti. Graffiti or murals? What do you like more? What looks cooler? What looks better? I think uh, graffiti is uh, more cool because it's it's more uh, uh, the paint, uh, painful. painful? Col colorful. Colorful, Color of course. Uh huh. Uh, let's not say more cool. Let's say cooler. Yeah, is way cooler. Cool. cool. Yeah, it's way cooler. Don't forget about way. What does this mean? It's way cooler. It's exactly. Don't forget about that. Same thing as much. All right. Um. Yeah, I agree with that. And plus, don't forget a mural. Very often, it's going to be an actual image of somebody or something. Whereas graffiti, it's all about what exactly? It's about. It's about uh, painting on the walls. Words. We're looking for that one, right? So here we have what? A mural or graffiti? What do we got? It's uh, graffiti. Absolutely. So uh, when it comes to you and you go out, let's say going to school, perhaps, do you see any paintings like that? Any murals, maybe? No, I don't see them. Would you like to see? Um, yeah, I'd like to see. Mm, Again, I mean, why? Uh, uh, paintings. No, no, Actual paintings where? On the walls. While going to school, where? What kind of walls? Tell me a little more. While going like, to school, I would like to see what? Paintings on the car. Gorgeous, gorgeous walls. Uh, so you wouldn't like to see graffiti. You would like to see murals more, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, again, why? Let's put that into mm. writing. Why? Uh, because it's uh, more beautiful. Uh, uh, I would like to see more murals and less all right, graffitis, because why? Because graffiti is uh, just uh, letters. Mm -hmm. Because when it comes to graffiti, uh, they're nothing but letters, of course. And continue, please. And uh, um, murals are. Whereas. Uh, Whereas murals are more colorful 
and uh, uh, more uh, beautiful. Uh -huh, they're more colorful and more beautiful. Yeah, I agree with that. So graffiti, not as pretty, I guess, as um, murals. That's totally true. All right, it's um, absolutely. Um, so yeah, I suppose that is true, but you don't really see much of it though, yeah? Do you? Mm, no. All right. Um, when I go to school, I don't see anything. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah. You don't find it anywhere. Are there places where that you might see a mural or, or graffiti? What do you think? Um, no. Mm, no, I no, never uh, see them. Come on, man. You should be a little more verbose. I, I, I never see them. Mm, what does it mean verbose? Verbose. It means to... Uh, mm, uh, to talk a lot. A lot, yes. All right, so whereas murals are more colorful and beautiful, so I personally love them. But anyway, um, let's move on back to this homework. It's almost all checked uh, again. Easy peasy. All right. Um, anytime so they can draw pictures. Yes. All right. Sports and adventures again. So topic which we actually did maybe two weeks ago or something. All right. Baseball again. Baseball. It's not base and ball. One word. Baseball. All right. See. Baseball. Mountain biking. Okay. Um, ice skating. All right. Let's move on to the next one. What about the audio file? Do you have any questions about that? Was everything clear? Yeah. Everything yeah, was everything clear. was clear. Yeah, it's it could. Again, next time, please look at how you're taking a picture. I can't see anything. I mean, I can only guess. All right. Um if we repair my bike, I will ride it this afternoon. Okay, again, looks like to be a good job, but still focus, try to do a better one. All right, so uh, what is that? Tell me, we just talked about this. These are what? These are fruit salads. These are cut fruits, sold out of conveniency. What does that mean? They are sold out of conveniency. Они продаются удобно или как? Удобно это как? Это наречие. Здесь какая часть речи? Out of conveniency. What part of speech is conveniency? Из-за удобства. Yes. Thank you. All right. That's what it is. So, what's the picture? Tell me. It's a picture of? Of... Uh, Cut fruits, cut. which are cut fruits, which are sold out of convenience. Out of convenience, absolutely. All right. Anyway, we talked about this, so we're not going to go crazy with it. Let's move on to something else. All right. Um. Yeah. When it comes to typhoons, let's do this topic really quickly and uh, move on to our book. Now, what is the difference between a typhoon, a hurricane? What do you think? Cyclone? Is there a difference? Maybe they are uh, in different locations. So let's say that, in other words, give me a better answer. Yes, you're on the right track. Tell me more. Uh, in other words, uh, they... Uh, they form... They form in uh, different uh, zones. And that's different... why they're called? Uh, they're called different names. They, they are called differently, yeah? And, and that's why they're called differently. So you see that? What is this? This is a map of what? Of uh, typhoons. No, this cycles. is a map of the world, of course. And here we can see what? We can see... Uh, 
I don't know. You tell me. What can we see here? Uh, sto storms. All right. See different types of storms. The idea of the map is not that it shows us different types of storms. They're telling us where they form and why they're called like that. That's all. So in other words, how can we describe the map? All right, in your ninth grade, I believe, of course, you'll be thinking about description of, you know, all kinds of charts. All right, так что очень важно привыкать и понимать, что от тебя хотят, когда, например, нужно описать какую-то графу, например, или какую-то картинку, фотографию. Мы начинаем, конечно же, с картинок, они очень легкие вещи, но в то же самое время это тоже относительно легкое. Так что весь смысл доноса этой фотографии какой? They're telling us what? In different uh, parts of the world. Uh, we have uh, different uh, types of storms. Okay, yeah, of course. All right, so let's look at this one. American Red Cross, illustration off. Let's read this. American, uh, a station of war uh, where hurricanes, typhoons, and cyclones from there. They where cyclones are... form, not from. What does it mean to ah, form for... in okay. English? Form means what? It means to start. Maybe. Exactly. To originate, to form, to start, or to originate, of course. They are all... They are all the same type of storm. Type of but storm? Storm, but uh, are named differently depending on where they're from. Exactly. So can you tell me the difference between a hurricane and a cyclone or between a hurricane and a typhoon? What is the difference? Mm. I don't know. That's not cool, man. We just read it. Серьезно, мы сейчас прочли, ты не понял, что ты прочел? Ну, понял, но там только про то, что их называют в зависимости от места. Ага, тот факт, что там было написано, что они никак не отличаются, и они вот именно в зависимости от места только имеют разное название. Но они никак не отличаются от типа шторма. Это проскочило? Это и все, что я тебя спросил. Так что мы только что прочли, правильно? They are all the same type of sport. Я просто что-то не подсматривал, спросил. Так в чем же разница? Ответ какой должен был быть? Они все одинаковые. Они все одинаковые, нету разницы, конечно. All right. So keep in mind, when you read something, try to understand it. All right. Usually when you read, do you go back to understand it better? Or you read everything and everything just, you know, clear as daylight? Mm, sometimes I get back. Okay, get going back and rereading or re-understanding it. Yeah, it's totally cool. But I mean, I'm saying like some easy things maybe. Definitely try to pay attention and understand. Don't just read for the sake of reading. All right, for the sake of reading. What does it mean? Don't read for the sake of reading. For the sake of reading. What does it mean for the sake of something? Oh. I did you want that. The All right. For the sake of. All right, so that's all it means. Как бы просто не читай ради того, чтобы читать надо. Просто бла -бла -бла -бла, читаешь и все. Именно understand it, get involved, right? Understand the idea. So don't read for the sake of reading. Read, uh, maybe read for the sake of understanding and getting the main idea. Right. Anyway, we... Got it. So when you go to the gym, why do you go to the gym? Let's use for the sake of. To the sake of train. For train. the sake of. The sake. I go to the gym for, for the sake of. For the sake of uh, training. Exactly. I go to the gym for the sake of training. And. And, and getting healthier. You should be able to do that, right? So in other words, okay. what's another benefit? You're like, okay, one more. I, I should add something else. I will. Going to the gym, it has what benefits? Training is a benefit. 
getting stronger, getting healthier, getting bigger, uh, maybe talking to my friends for the sake of communication, right? For the sake of, we can either say a noun, right? Plus noun, or for the sake of, again, for the sake of, we know what, how does it work? Let's write it down. For the sake of, we can either do a noun or V1 plus ING, all right? Обратите на это внимание, мы с тобой использовали первый пример ради чего? Тренировки, в этом контексте у нас, конечно же, это будет существительное. Let's make it the same color. Но потом, после союза, мы хотим несуществительное быть. Например, for the sake of training and communication. Это два существительные. Но мы также имеем вариант после нашего for the sake of, вот оно здесь, использовать какую форму? V1 plus... Plus now... V1 plus... plus... ING, thank you. All right, так что у нас есть вариант какой? Прибавить noun и написать, конечно же, for the sake of, надеюсь, это было понятно, communication, либо после союза нашего and, after our conjunction, we can just say getting, right? Getting stronger. Например, мы хотели использовать сильный, сильнее, но мы не могли здесь adjective использовать, потому что там правило говорит for the sake of, мы не можем сказать for the sake of stronger. Здесь не написано adjective, мы можем прибавлять. Мы либо существительное, другими словами, stronger, мы можем это убрать и сказать strength, сила, либо мы используем v1 плюс ing. Это банально пример, который иллюстрирует, что мы можем союзом сравнивать и существительное прибавлять, и после него использовать действие. Действие мы с тобой выбрали. Getting. Any questions about this? No questions. Let's do it like so. Let's make it colorful. Make me another example about school. Go. Um, I, go, I, go to school. I go to school for the sake for the sake of uh, studying and uh, getting smarter. Mm -hmm. and, and getting smarter. Um, yeah. Studying and uh, communication again, it's very obvious. That's enough. All right, good job. Again, no questions about this, yeah? Yeah. Good job. Let's read some examples of this. When else can we use that? Also, for one sake, let's read that. Out of consideration or... Uh, also, for one sake, out of consideration or... Regard, regard for regard for a person or thing, for someone's or something's advantage, advantage or good. Absolutely. All right. Regard the касающийся имеется мы думаем что человек как о нас подумает отношение получается к этому regard. All right. Uh, to regard это именно относиться касаться чего-то в плане например письмо касающееся там школы например. This is the letter regarding your school or regarding your acceptance. Например, принятие там университет. All right, consider. Мы с тобой делали, мне кажется, the word consider. Consideration, it's a noun. What does it mean to consider? Consider, предполагать. Uh, yes. All right, so when you consider, in other words, предполагать, с точки зрения думать о, think about it, right? So to think about something. All right, не то, что think about в плане размышлять. Что же я буду сегодня делать? All right, so it's usually about when you have an issue, a problem, and you're considering, or you have an offer. Somebody's offering you something. Hey, listen, you want to buy my bike? You're like, really? You're selling your bike? Okay, how much is it? Like X amount. Okay, I'll consider it. Как бы я буду иметь в виду. I'll consider it. Make an example, please. No. I consider uh, that I no, want to... Give me a filler. Wait, wait, wait. So, самое... не надо бежать, стараться, если нужно сделать пример какой-то, не беги сразу с первого, так сказать, прям с моментом, так сказать, с плеча. Нет, не надо. Давай сделаем контекст какой-то. Вот, а, а что ты хотел мне сказать? Uh, I consider that... Какая тема была? Школа? Спортзал? Школа. Школа, окей. Okay. Mm, I, I consider that I won't go to school tomorrow because... It's too cold. All right. Если это действие, которое происходит сейчас, в данный момент, а не, не по жизни, правильно? Здесь мы использовали I'll consider it. Я буду иметь в виду в будущем. 
Но здесь хороший пример, где именно ты использовал это в данный момент, ты думал. Значит, действие, которое мы делаем не по жизни, а в данный момент, мы грамматику используем какой? What grammar do we use? Mm. We use... You should be faster with that. I'm considering ing, конечно же, но мы не делаем это всегда по жизни, значит, противоположно от этого ing. Правильно, герунди мы должны использовать. Или другими словами, здесь мы используем continuous, конечно же. Ты же думаешь сейчас, предполагаешь в данный момент о единственном моменте завтра. Вот я думаю не идти в школу, например, завтра из-за шторма. Получается, это будет выглядеть как? I'm... I'm considering... Uh... That I want go to school. I'm considering, maybe not, that I want, давай скажем, not going. Мы именно думаем о чем? О непохождении в школу, так сказать. I'm considering not going to school. И это к тому, что у нас грамматика сразу изменилась, потому что если до этого мы использовали for the sake, ты на это не смотри, это уже совсем все другое. I'm considering уже слово. So I'm considering not going to school tomorrow because... Uh, because of the storm. Yeah. Absolutely, because of the storm. I'm considering. So, uh, если момент и действие происходит сейчас, не по жизни, то мы, конечно же, ing добавляем и глагол be. Don't forget about that. All right. So, usually people will say it as a stative verb, как стативный глагол, и это к тому, что ing и be, конечно же, будет отсутствовать. So, I, I, I thought you were going to do something like this. So, tomorrow we're going to have a, a test in school. So I'll consider studying for it. Right? Как бы я подумаю о, о нем, планет, studying for it. Right? Give me another example with I'll consider it. One more. Um, I, I'll consider uh, buying a new uh, helmet for uh, My bike because Absolutely. the old is broken. All right, so I'll yeah consider buying a new helmet for my bike because the old one is what? Is broken. Yes, because uh, the old one is broken. Yeah, that's a good one. I'll consider buying. All right, yes, or again. If now your helmet is broken and you're considering now, so you're just going to say what? I am considering. I'm in the market for. I'm in the market for plus V1. Usually V1 plus ING is going to be buying, so we can just might as well put buying and we say what? Right. What does this mean? I'm in the market for. I'm in the market. Or, or a new helmet, maybe, yeah? That's like an easy one. Okay. What does it mean? I'm in the market for a new helmet. It means what? I'm in the market for, for, new, for a new helmet. It means what? It means I'm considering uh, buying a new helmet. Oh, yeah, that's all it means. All right, so that's another way of saying it. All right, cool. So we got what it means to consider for the sake of. All right, ради чего-то имеется в причина какая-то должна быть ради чего-то. Kind of like that. I, in the morning, I run for the sake of health, for the sake of strength, for the sake of, you know, talking to my friends because we run together and I truly like it. All right. What's the difference between a typhoon and a hurricane? Um, they are uh, similar. But why do we have different names if they're similar? Uh, of uh, different because they form in different places of the world yeah yeah absolutely all right so uh, a verb to form what's the noun here part of speech noun form it's going to be what uh form uh, so their I mean, formation stop takes place in different places of the world, yeah? Takes yeah. place in... Let's read that. Um, formation takes place... Formation takes place in different places of the world. Very good. What does it mean take place? Mm, it means to be 
Sounds to be to occur. Absolutely. All right. To occur. Absolutely. What does it mean occur? Occurrence. It means what? To take place. To take place. Exactly. All right. So uh, let's say some action occurs. Let's say you're talking about a movie. All right. And it takes place in, I don't know, in the, in, in the mountains somewhere. So you're telling me about a movie that you watched. So I'm asking you, what was the movie about? Tell me. It was uh, a it was um it was about um it was about what? What was the movie about? It was about uh, was about a man uh, trying to find I don't know his friend and она берет место где город какой-то место все что угодно and and it's occurring occurring it's нужно сказать it and it it's occurring uh, in a little town не occurring occurs, all right, take place, брать место имеется случаться, that's all it means. So it occurs, not it occurring, it occurs where? Весь фильм, например, берет свое место или случается, значит, это по жизни, по жизни всего фильма, так сказать. It occurs where? Finish this. In a little town. In a little town, yes. It occurs, uh, I don't know, in the mountains. It occurs, um, it could be anything, all right? So it occurs on a small island or something like that. So in other words, occur, it's another, another word for to take place, yeah? Absolutely, take place. Um, again, I'm gonna ask you some things about movies next time. So take place, it's really part and parcel of speaking about movies because we always want to tell the person with whom we're talking to about you know, uh, the place where it happens, or in other words, where it takes place. Our interlocutor, who is this person? Interlocutor. It's a person who starts uh, dialogue. The person who what? Starts telling it? Who starts a dialogue? We're talking with I, yeah. Well, yeah. Of course. All right, we got that. Let us dive back to Williams. All right, let's close that. All right, so uh, homework was unit two, of course, but I believe we went all the way to like six or seven. All right, let's see that. Uh, did we do this part? Remember doing this? Research project. Um, no. We didn't do computers? No. All right, haven't been switched off, okay. Let's use this one. Uh, you've won a computer. Have we done it? No. No, we didn't do it. Let's do it like that. Don't just say no, no, no. We didn't do it. All right, let's get back to unit five. Unit five, I think it was about inventions, and we did do them. Yeah, yes. we'll do it. Mm -hmm. we'll do it. Uh, what is this here? Tell me this one. What is that? It's a chocolate. It's not just chocolate. It's a chocolate bar, yeah? Yeah, exactly. All right, so it's a chocolate bar. OK, let's get back to this. The history of a pen. All right. Do you have a pen? Do you use a pen? Uh, yeah, I use it. I use mm. a pen. When I write, when I write in the school or when I do homework. Is it in the school? In school, when I write in school, all right. So, and I write in school, though personally, prefer typing. What does it mean to type? To uh, to type on a keyboard. Exactly. So instead of using a pen, you use your fingers and you press the keyboard to type, to talk, to write something on the computer. Absolutely, check it out, though I personally prefer. See, this is another example like we had with ice cream. You're providing one more 
example, right? So you're not only saying, yes, I use it, of course. Well, yeah, duh. you know, you say I use it in school, but honestly, I prefer typing, right? We can say typing instead. I mean, instead. Typing instead. Means instead means what? Напротив. Instead of. So, in other words, I like typing more than I like to write. All right. Check it out. Don't forget about this. Always add this type of information, your preference, what you like. So, let's say I'm asking you, hey, do you like ice cream? Remember, look back to that example. Everything has to be as simple as this. All right. It is simple. So, never answer just basically like just yes I do no I don't add something else all right please that's what it's all about it will make you more verbose what does it mean verbose it will make you verbose um it means to talk to talk a lot yes but it will make you what uh, it will make you verbose what... or in other word it will make you Talkative. Exactly. All right, so it will make you more talkative. Absolutely. That's what we're looking for. All right, any questions? No questions. All right, now listen, at home, do the same thing. Try to pick some questions, easy ones. Again, there's nothing easier than this. All right, so an easy question and make a really wonderful, relatively easy but long answer. All right, that's going to be your homework. Do that and... Uh, Pretty much that's all. All right, and I'll, I'm going to give you some printouts with like, you know, the workbook from the workbook. Definitely do that because now we're actually about to start seven, unit seven, but we're actually still doing unit three or four in our workbook. Definitely we need to catch up. All right, listen, have a wonderful Sunday. Have a beautiful Sunday. I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Bye-bye, Dima. Thank you. Always welcome. Bye.